My name is Antoine Sargent. I'm the curator of the Brooklyn edition of Virgil Abloh, Figures of Speech. Several years ago, I got a phone call asking if I would curate the Brooklyn iteration of Figures of Speech. And I said, you know, I'm really interested in the work that Virgil was doing that really defied traditional boundaries, right? And so he was working in fashion, but also in music and art and design. I was super interested in the way that he was sort of thinking about creativity and thinking about art and thinking about himself in relationship to uh, his blackness, but also in making space. I was all for it, but the one thing I wanted was for the exhibition to change in some way. That began what became a three-year journey of working alongside Virgil to sort of think about the ways in which New York and Brooklyn were integral parts of his design and art philosophy and process, right? Virgil really sort of in earnest started his career here in New York alongside other young creatives. And so I was really sort of interested in the ways in which Virgil had moved through art and fashion and music and design to really sort of create his own aesthetic and his own voice. This exhibition considers all of that. And since his unfortunate passing, it also sort of thinks about sort of who he is as a creative and as a person and really sort of allow for us to really consider the maker. In part, it's an architectural intervention in the space, right? And so the way that the space is encountered is sort of a architectural gesture from Virgil. And then sort of going further, the exhibition is almost entirely presented on tables that are designed by Virgil. I've been thinking a lot about that gesture, right? To sort of present an exhibition almost in its entirety on tables, right? And it, what, what really sort of came to mind is a James Foreman quote. What Foreman said was, you know, we deserve a seat at the table, but if there isn't one presented to us, we should build our own, right? And what Virgil did throughout his life and throughout his career was build his own table. And so for him, it is almost a poetic gesture to have every everything that he made, that he created, presented on tables that he built. He was someone who played with language in such a profound way to sort of push the meaning of language. So that, for me, is this sort of profound gesture in this show, is that, you know, you can build your own table to make your own space for your own ideas.